So last week was our most recent territory war, and it was also the territory war where Basla finally got her feet wet and had some action, and I got this question a ton of times. Yo, Arnold, what are some counters to Basla? Because our guild faced some Basla walls. We had a hard time. So in this video today, since Basla has become a tremendous character for Jedi and an extremely powerhouse on offense and on defense, I have a bunch of teams that I want to show you that can beat Basla, quite a variety of teams that should give you an idea on how to tackle those Basla walls and territory wars or an arena in case you're seeing her so before we get started it's really important to know what are the strengths of bass that make her so good and hard for a lot of teams to beat first of all huge amounts of turn meter boost for jedi so they're quick out of the gate secondly very high durability that 200 percent protection up from bass leadership causes a ton of problems and also the third big thing is that they have extremely high tenacity when they have that protection up so in this video we have a, a variety of teams that counter a variety of those things and have a strong defense against the strengths of a Bastila team so this first lineup we're not going to talk about all that much i've made videos about it before but darth trey is the ultimate counter to a Bastila team she counters all the buffs that are being spread she's countering all the attacks out of turn she's just the ultimate counter to jedi and Bastila in general so we're not going to talk about that but what we will do is talk about the second team which i'm really excited to show you guys ah so here we go we're starting off the battle with our thrawn lead he's not the best leader in the game but it's pretty decent all around for a variety of situations and here is one we have high defense we're going to take a lot of turns going to get a lot of taunts i would love to fracture yoda i would highly recommend if you can fracture him but we're going to have to fracture old ben because we're stuck behind this taunt and now afterwards we're going to focus all fire on grand master yoda he's going to be our first person to take out because once we take him out really quickly we should be able to get death mark and once we get death mark it's game set match now make sure you always target the character you might want to call in to assist all right there we go krennic he has so many jobs in this lineup but ba mainly i love getting tenacity down no matter what even if they have foresight you can still get tenacity down that, that's this has been kind of a long known trick with director krennic which is why he's so much fun to use all right now we should be able to eventually get hopefully a, a daze here from death trooper all right let's see can we get a daze hey there we go we got a daze uh let's do this i want to keep fracture going on a little bit longer there we go can we call him death trooper to assist oh he evaded the day uh the stun unfortunately we'll, we'll get it right here there we go we got a stun perfect and all right come on let's keep hammering away yoda there we go protection up is officially gone which means he lost his tenacity and all the other bonuses that comes from that protection up right there uh let's do this let's get an ability block all right get a stun so close probably one more hit let's get some protection up and there we go it's game set match now guys now i'm gonna go apply death mark on bastila let's um let's just keep hammering away at her and then it's gonna be pretty much game over from here if i can get a nice big hit on bastila we're pretty much done and so that's how this team works we're gonna look at one hit two hits <laughs> it's so much fun seeing all these bonus attacks that we're getting she cleans out the death mark but it's 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 futile at this point there's no way that they can win this battle so there we go this is gonna be our first lineup i'll go fast forward it so we can go on to the next one because i have a lot of stuff that i want to show you guys but this by far is my favorite that i came up with when i was trying to figure out ways to take on bastila So pretty much game set match so pretty much the strategy was fracture old ben or fracture general kenobi whatever the case may be then get in there take out yoda really quickly then once you take out yoda you can hit auto because between all of your high defense health regeneration protection regeneration death mark all the bonus attacks there's no way that they can win so really fun lineup and bass has a really hard time beating it let's see what the boss baby can offer you guys we're going hunting for jedi tonight and the beginning is going to be really nasty the team is just so fast there's no way to really out do them with a bounty hunter led team they're doing mind tricks they're doing, they're doing all this nasty stuff but in the long run we'll be fine because of bosk's leadership we're going to regenerate a ton of health and protection so we're going to take a beating for a while but it should be okay in the end now i'm going to i'm going to stun their i'm going to stun their old ben so i don't get stuck behind a taunt because he's going to taunt soon unresistible stuns critical against a high tenacity team and now we're going to try to get our contract triggered as fast as possible one hit all right we need to keep working on it come on come on come on all right let's see we might be able to now there's no reason to use this because they're going to evade it we're not going to regenerate health all right got rid of the foresight at least here we go let's uh look at all that health and protection we got people can i get a good no stun that's fine you know what let's do this we're gonna get a taunt all right 
Okay, and hopefully next turn we should be able to trigger the contract because I'm gonna call everyone to assist through boss You know what? Let's just we're gonna remove all those buffs Whoo nice hit here we go. This should trigger the contract there we go. Contract's triggered, and we're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. But Yoda lost all of his uh, uh, his protection up, so Tenacity's out the door. It's pretty much a lost cause for him. Let's uh, throw some thermal detonators. Look at all that. Oh, he's gone, people. He's gone. So now we can just pretty much work on our next target. I mean, old Ben's going to taunt soon, so might as well just start chipping away at him. But there we go. Kind of like... The, kind of like Thrawn in a way. Thrawn team worked because once you finally took out a single character, you're pretty much good to go. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Let's slow it down. 73,000 damage. That was beautiful. I mean, this team is a lot of fun to use, but I kind of finished my thought. I kind of got sidetracked a little bit. But once you find, like, Thrawn's team, that team is all about getting rid of Yoda, pressing auto, and you're good to go. This team is all about triggering the contract, and once you get the contract triggered and you survive the initial onslaught, you should be good to go. Can we call someone to assist? There we go. I mean, game set match, people. Game set match. A lot of fun to use, but you're gonna have you have to have a high tolerance for uh, not feeling depressed after the initial beginning right there. So I can pretty much auto this. I feel pretty comfortable. Again, really fun team. Doesn't require any sort of legendary characters and whatnot. Bosk, I mean, if you had a three-star boss, four-star boss, that's perfectly fine. But you definitely do want to make sure you got the Zeta and all that stuff so you can do well. But there we go. Look at all this health and protection regeneration that allows us to bring our low health characters back up pretty much instantly. Really fun team, but you guys pretty much know how the drill is going to be from here. Let's just move on to the next lineup because we got a lot of stuff to still talk about. And look at that game set match. Woo! That was fun to watch. Really fun to watch. Once you can cripple their defenses on, on Basila's team, it's it's a it's a train wreck watching that team fall to pieces. <laughs> so now this next lineup, I can't take any credit for thinking of this one, unlike the others. Be and this one's kind of interesting because it uses Sith Marauder. A patron of mine's like, hey, can you try using Sith Marauder? Then another patron's like, there's this guy named Urzatron. He made a video based on a tip someone gave him, and Sith Marauder is actually very helpful in your classic Palpatine-led team. The reason why Sith Marauder works really well for a Palpatine lineup is because we're gonna get potency up. And the issue we had before is Palpatine couldn't apply debuffs because the tenacity was too dang high for a Jedi. But now with potency up, we should have a higher likelihood of applying debuffs. And if we can apply debuffs, we're gonna take on the Jedi. One reason I kind of like this team is because you don't need Darth Trey. Not everyone has Darth Trey, but they still wanna use Palpatine up against Bastla. But the problem is because of her high tenacity, it makes it really hard to win because you can't apply debuffs so everyone has foresight so i can't hurt anyone but i want to get our potency up as fast as possible because once we get potency up i feel a lot be uh, better for about the rest of the battle because hopefully we we can apply some um hopefully we can apply some debuffs and if we can apply debuffs we will start crippling the team let's see here no pain unfortunately but sometimes we can land a nice uh stun with palpatine's aoe all right so we're gonna have to fracture old ben that's fine. We're kind of stuck. I'd rather fracture Yoda if I had the opportunity here. All right. Can we get a stun on someone? We have potency up. I mean, old Ben's really the only opportunity we have for a stun. Hey, there we go. We got a stun on old Ben. That potency up really helps us quite a lot. And there we go. Perfect. Got three cooldown reductions right there. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Can we have potency up on sign? Can we get some pain on the other team? Uh, let's speed it up. There we go. We got a pain on old Ben and we got pain on Bassa. So we're not getting a lot of pain, but that potency up will help us a little bit. Can we get shock? Ah, oh, no shock. That would have been really nice if we could have got shock right there. One hit, two hit. Uh, Ezra's almost losing all of his protection up, but I feel a bit better. Normally, they would run circles around me, but luckily we got some stuns. We got some pain going around. Let's uh, get rid of those buffs right there. And there we go. Pain on Yoda. Once I take care of that, I feel good. Let's get some potency up. 20,000 damage, not bad. Uh, and we should, they're going to get a couple of attacks right there. Come on, get rid of the foresight. You got this. You got this. All right. Oof. Oh, the, so I do miss Darth Trey. Darth Trey, if you have Darth Trey, definitely make sure you keep using her because that self cleansing is super important to win battles here. All right, come on. We should probably finish off Yoda's this round right here. There we go. And Yoda's gone, and we can start working at Ezra. And then uh, a Basilisk, pretty much almost done here. And now we should be able to finish off Ezra. We're going to get Annihilate. In it. Let's fracture Kenobi so it doesn't interrupt us. And there we go, guys. We're going to get uh, an Annihilate here in a second and the game set match. So that potency up 
made all the difference in the world so we can counter all that high tenacity that Bastl is running so let's keep moving on guys I still got a couple more lineups that I want to show you here we're gonna kind of rapid fire the last few that we got next counter that we have the Bastla are the Night Sisters now Night Sisters it's pretty much a straight auto for Bastla and the, it's kind of funny because you actually want your Night Sisters to die off and you can just hit auto right from the start you want your you want your Daka you want your Asajj you want your Mother Talzin to bite the dust because really this team is all about getting people to constantly revive under the Mother Talzin leadership so they can try to chip away at that protection up really quickly and Jedi teams they lack massive AoE damage unless there's Anakin Skywalker on the other team pretty much hard for Bastila to win because with Acolyte under stealth it's pretty much going to be Acolyte going to town and every time she uses her basic she's going to revive someone to assist so really cool little trick right here I mean I'm just going to let this run it's all coming down to Acolyte hiding in their stealth always using her basic and the Night Sisters constantly reviving there's no way they could really win they don't have enough AoE damage should do the trick night sisters i didn't have to even touch a finger just press auto and as long as you got mother tiles and reviving night sisters and constantly have acolyte under stealth it's pretty much a guaranteed one up against jedi ah the first order is the next one on our list here now they have a double taunting tank between kylo ren unmasked and first order stormtrooper and they hate basketball teams hate double taunting teams and we also have some good damage output with uh, the crew that we got right here. We're gonna take a little beating at the beginning, but that's perfectly fine. All right, here we go. Let's start working on their Yoda, start stacking up our uh, our, our health on Death Panda, because the higher is uh, health, the more damage we can do. And we also have Tenacity down with Kylo Ren unmasked. And Tenacity down, we've already seen that with Dengar, Night Sister Zombie, and uh, Krennic. Tenacity down is really important against these Basilo teams. All right, let's get rid of that first taunt right there. Boom. Taunt number one is gone. Maybe we have another. Maybe we can uh, get Kylo Ren to taunt and in the process remove the taunt on old Ben. All right, come on. Let's get a taunt up our here. Awesome, awesome. Keep using the basics, stacking up our max uh, our max health. Get rid of all that force that on the other team. Generate gener gener some turn meter. Let's, um, let's do this. Uh, call in the Death Panda for the assist. Big hit. Keep stacking up. Oh, we're going to have a big hit in store when Death Panda can use his special ability. I'm going to get a stun on uh, Yoda right here. All right, cool. Let's keep him out of battle for a little bit. Okay, Death Panda hopefully gets a turn in a moment here. Let's generate some turn meter for our First Order characters. All right, and come on. There we go. Death Panda should have a big hit in a second here. Woo! Look at all that. Look at all that. All right, here we go. Big hit right here. Let's see how much we can do. All right, and... Boom! 39,000 damage. Uh, Yoda lost all of his protections. Now we're just going to get rid of Yoda, and I feel pretty good afterwards. Once we get rid of Yoda, it's I, once you get rid of Yoda, it's just, it pretty much feels like game, set, match. There we go. And there we go. Yoda's pretty much the engine that keeps the Jedi running, and now you can work on Ezra Bastila. So pretty much I'm just going to auto it so you guys can see how it turns out, and then afterwards we're going to move on to the last two teams we got in store. So I'm not going to talk too much about Commander Luke Skywalker. The strategy is pretty straightforward. I'll show you how it panned out. But pretty much you want the double tanks because it's the bane for a uh, Bastila team. If you have a double tank lineup, hard for Bastila to win. And the cool thing is, once you get Stormtrooper behind the taunt, all those bonus attacks and those quick turns that Jedi are taking, you're going to fuel turn meter for the rest of your team through Stormtrooper Han because when he's taunting, he grants a ton of turn meter. And CLS and Han Solo, they're all about the damage job. So that's kind of how that lineup works. But I, I want to talk lastly about Jedi training. Ray. So behind me, you're going to see some Jedi training Ray gameplay as we wrap up the video. This is just a quick short summary. The reason why she works is because her leadership has unresistible exposes. And when you have unresistible abilities, really important against high tenacity teams because those exposes will help us to chop away at that protection of that Bastila teams have. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did find this video helpful, please go ahead, leave me a like, comment down below, and subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And until the next video. Party Richter, Party Richter, down, 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 down. Party Richter, Party Richter, son of a bitch. Party Richter, Party Richter.